For whenever you want to pray, first of all, you must have faith. According to where we read in 1 John, that this is the confidence. We are the Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be unto you. You are welcome. This is Christ Foundation Channel. Today, I want to talk to you how God answers my prayer. Yes, I want to share with you this awesome piece of message. How God answers my prayer. Have you prayed? Has it look as if heaven have been shut down to you? Has it look as if you have prayed? Nothing is happening. Today, I want to share with you how God answers prayers. Hallelujah. You see, prayer, first of all, is a communication between God and man. Why should we even pray? The Bible said that even before you ask, God has already known what we need. But there is a reason why you and I have to pray. The Word of God said that the earth He has given to the sons of men. In other words, God cannot come to this earth to operate without man giving him a permission. So prayer, in other words, is giving God a permission over your case, over your issue, over the, the thing that you need him to come unto. Hallelujah. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 14, the Bible said that and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he heareth us if we ask anything according to his will not your own will not my own will but according to his own will that he answered us first of all remember he said this is the confidence in other words this is the faith where do you put your faith where do you anchor your faith if you want to pray, where do you put your faith? It matters a lot. Do you put your faith in man? Or you put your faith in God? Or in, put, in other words, putting your faith in the word of God? Because that's the foundation where you have to stand. Hallelujah. When you want to pray, you should have faith that there is God that will answer your prayer. That is one. Because the word said that, and this is the confidence. This is the faith. Other translation also say, put it in different ways. Amen. So when you want to ask God, make sure that you have faith in that which you want to pray. And also, another point you and I have to know is that according to His will, according to the will of God, what you are asking Him, is it according to His will or for your own selfish interest? Are you praying according to the scripture? Are you praying according to the will and how God expected it? When you are praying and without applying the scripture, you have you will have no results. When you are praying without you walking towards your prayer, you will also have no results. The Bible said that God watches over his word. When you pray, do you go to sleep? When you ask God for anything, do you walk towards it? There are many of us believers who pray to God for job, but we never go out to seek for job. We pray for God to give us words, to give us money, but we don't do the things that will bring money. Amen. The Bible said that God watches over us. In other words, when God said, let there be light, He moves along with it. Whatsoever God said, he will walk towards it. He said, my word will not return to me void, except it being accomplished that which I have been sent it out to. In order, I was trying to tell you that when he sent his word, he accomplished it. He follows it to make sure that that word come to pass. When you ask God for something, can I tell you this? The Bible said that faith without work is death. Can I tell you that 
prayer without work is dead. When you pray without working according to what you pray for, you will have no result. So in other words, when you want to achieve result, you should make sure that when you pray, you also walk aligned with your prayer. Amen. Now, the Bible also took us to Psalm 37 verse 3. It said, Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and, very, and verily thou shalt be fed. I repeat it again. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and thou shalt be fed. You trust in the Lord, that is one. You have to do good. You see, sometimes we only want God, we only put responsibility on God. You also have a responsibility to play. We pray, yes, have you prayed? God said, yes, I have prayed. I have done all I have to do. No, you have not done all. You have not given it your best. Things always seem impossible until it is done. It is in the doing of it that you have result. Result doesn't happen on its own. You don't have result by mere wishes. You have to work towards it. Praise the Lord. So whenever you want to pray, first of all, you must have faith. According to where we read in 1 John, that this is the confidence. Where do you put your confidence? Did you, after finish praying, do you doubt the word of God? Do you even doubt your prayer? Yes, there are some of us, after we have prayed, who we start doubting. Ah, am I sure that if this will work? But when you have the confidence, when you have faith in your prayer, and as well, walk aligned with that which you have prayed, I bet you, definitely, you will have results. This is how I, where I anchor my faith. This is how I pray. Because you have to pray in line with the word of God. If you must have results. If you must have results, you must walk in line with the word God has. With the will of God. Praise Master Jesus. So these things you have to practice. You have to practice it. Make sure that when you ask anything from God, don't go and sleep. Walk towards it. It is in your work that the result comes. Not in prayer. Prayer is just a way of you giving God permission into your case. Prayer is a way, like the Bible said, that that which I hear you say, that I will do. You have to speak it out. You have to say it. That is the essence of prayer. It could have been much better if you spent time, a little time in praying and add exercise of it. Not only spending three hours in prayer, hundred hours in prayer, speaking in tongues, without doing the work, there will not be there will not be effect, there will not be results. Paul said, not that the word of God has not effect. It's because of the way you and I follow it. Not because the hand of God is too sure that it cannot reach us. It's because of sin. Things have demarcated you and I. Praise the Lord. So, this is all you have to do. One, in a summary, you have to have confidence in face of all faith that as you are praying that God will answer. He does it end there. Also, you should ask in his will, in his will. Remember that Jesus said, that which I see my father doing, that I do. The thing you are asking God for, is it the will of God? Is it the will of God? Is that what God requires from you? Is that the desire of God for you? So, you should ask in line with the will of God. Then, you should practice it. Practice. It is in the practical that you have results. Praise the Lord. And also, you should know that even in the land, God cannot come down to do anything. He uses men. The same way devil uses men. So that is why you have to trust in Him. 
and also do good. In doing good, that is how you, that will say that is how you should be fed. In doing good, thou shalt be fed. In other words, in your doing good, people, men, will now come to your rescue. Job, the thing that Job restored, the restoration of Job, it was people that he, he has met before, people he has helped, out of his generosity. The Bible said that is when men come from far and near to give him gift of God. How have you been living in your society? The Bible said live peacefully with all men. And if your way pleases God, it will make you to live at peace with every man. Thank you and God bless you. If you find this interesting, please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and also comment and share. Please support us because we need you. Hallelujah.